Good afternoon, Miss Michelle. Good afternoon, Madam. Okay, Miss Michelle, can you tell me about yourself? I'm Miss Georgia, Madam, at age of 33, and I have at three sons, Madam. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work as a maid, Madam, because I want to earn money and to give my sons needed, Madam. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? I choose Malaysia, Madam, because uh, Malaysia is a, have a good heart and a good heart, Madam. Okay. How are you qualified for this job? I am 100% qualified for this job, Madam. May I know what is your education level is? I still graduate, Madam. What is your recent working experience? I work as a maid, madam. Have you worked abroad before? No, madam. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, madam. And whose baby you are taking care of? My son's, madam. What about elder or older people? Do you have the experience? Yes, madam. And whose elder you are taking care of? My last employer, madam, and my grandma, madam. Okay, so how old is your uh, grandmother when you take care of her? 72 years old, madam. What about the employer that you take care before? 82, madam. 82, okay. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, madam. Can you tell me what are those special skills? Do you have? Yes, madam. Like... I don't need to Okay. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, madam. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, madam. Currently, are you still working now? No, madam. Do you know how to cook? Yes, madam. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, madam. So what are those Filipino food that you can cook? Adobo, madam, igado, and sinigang. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, madam. From all the house chores like cooking, cleaning, ironing, and washing, which do you like most? Cooking, madam. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My husband, madam, and my mother-in-law. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, madam. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, madam. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, madam. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing, abusing your handphone and it's affected your work for four months, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you're not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you're not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and conditions? Yes, madam. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, madam. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years, madam. Can you describe for me your ethics or your attitude? I am a cooker, madam, but uh, I promise to do all the jobs, madam. Okay. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? 100%, madam. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, madam. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, madam. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, madam. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, madam. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, madam. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, madam. Do you have any history of sickness, example breast cancer or any other illness? No, madam. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? No, madam. 
Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, madam. Do you smoke? No, madam. Have you undergone any operation or surgery? No, madam. Are you medically fit? Yes, madam. Are you in any medication? No, madam. Are you allergic with any food? No, madam. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, madam. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, madam. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, madam. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, madam. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, madam. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, madam. Okay, Miss Michelle, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members pass away, what will you do? Will you continue to work till finish your contract or you will go back? I will not go home, madam. I will finish my work. But only I will uh, give money for the expenses, madam. Okay, tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I am Shadiya, madam. I want to work in Malaysia. I want to see my family good, madam. Okay, Miss Michelle, what do you want to tell to your employer who watching your video? Thank you, madam. If you wanna, if you gonna select me, madam, I promise to do my work, job done, and well, madam. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Michelle. We will update your agency if there's any selection made by the employer.